Hello again uh, fellow geeks and hardware enthusiasts Welcome back to my Ryzen build log Now it's time to install the CPU water block and unbox it As you can see here I've replaced the bigger thicker radiator with the thinner one uh, 40mm instead of 60mm So there's nothing too exotic in the box right here This is the EK logo, and when you open it up, we have instruction manual, which is pretty short. It gives you an overview of you need to remove the screws, clean the CPU, apply the thermal paste, and then mount the CPU. Uh, this is not a hard one to mount. Usually, some more involved need you. You need to remove the back plate and put another back plate. This one, you just need to keep. The current back plate. So yeah, this is the uh, CPU water back I'll be using. Popping this cherry. I like I like the packaging. Since as you can see, it's bolted on the cardboard, so it doesn't touch it. You should remove it. You just remove this just before you apply it. So first off, I'm gonna clean with some alcohol the residue of the thermal paste I used from my previous cooler. Then I'm gonna apply the thermal paste, which is included greasy paste from AK. Hope it's as good as they say it is. And then just mount it. So here we go. First up, some alcohol rubber. Rub. Shit is burnt. You want to use alcohol, nothing, and not water. Since this stuff evaporates and there is no risk of it causing a short circuit. So yeah, never try to clean this with water. Okay, one cleaning pass. I already rubbed it before. I'm just being very thorough here. Okay, so and this is a the makeup cotton. I'm using the side side that doesn't peel or leave residue. So. I think we're good to go. Don't forget to close the alcohol, you can use something else. You can also use acetone. Just make sure you clo close it because as I said, it evaporates. So yeah, now I'm going to remove the screws. Put a little cup next to you, that's a good practice so you don't lose the stuff A bit more. There we go.
Now one thing I also like want to do is I'm going to use a, a credit card or a phone card actually. This is a phone card but it's the same thing as a credit card to spread the thermal paste on the CPU. You can put a grain, uh, the size of uh, two grains of uh, rice on top of the CPU. That's what the manual says. And uh, by the by applying pressure on the water block, it's supposed to spread evenly. But I don't like doing it this way. I like to have an even evenly spread thin layer, and then. Uh, Okay, everything is really proper and clean. I'm gonna use it soft tissue to make sure it's proper. It's tight. Yeah. Just there we go. So what I like to do is put a Really thin line, that should be enough. And then I will spread it a little bit more. There we go. Just wipe the residue that's been there. Close it, you might want to use some more later on. Then we'll use the credit card to smoothly even it out. You might need to use a little bit more. Yeah, this won't be enough. The idea is to put just a thin enough layer to fill the irregularities between the heat spur and the metal, which both of them seem perfectly, perfectly flat, but on a the microscopic they're not. So well, that's the idea. You can always put a little bit more. Wipe the rest. Yeah, this this particular one is really sticky. Keeps accumulating on the edge of the card. Let's see if I can scrub it off and put it back. It 
try it again. Um, this one is really really sticky with grease I might just yeah. I think it's not going to explode so yeah maybe guys you're better off just putting a pea on the smith a little bit and let the pressure do its thing So yeah, as you can see, uh, the little pee didn't spread too much on it. Again, there's a shit load. Not that much really, but... You know, I like to do it this way because they say grain of rice, how big is, how big is your grain of rice? Uh, and yeah, if you put it uh, too much, it's gonna affect your performance. If you put too little, it's also gonna negatively affect your performance. So I like to have a really thin spread cover. Yeah, it's it's really thick. It's really hard to spread this one. This this grizzly is really thick. Really thick thermal paste. Yeah, maybe maybe it's not actually a really good idea to do it this way. As you can see, even though I'm spreading a ton on on top of it. The layer is always really, really thin. It gets keep getting stuck. Oh so, yeah, I might reconsider this and just put on the middle of it an additional little P and call it a day. Hopefully, hopefully, I won't need to come back to it. Yeah, so that's a bit of a disappointment. Should help you guys avoid the same thing. This paste is really, really hard to spread out on your own, so. I like to put this really thin line there okay that should be enough I'm gonna apply the pressure on it and maybe remove it later to see how the result looks like so you have it inlet and an outlet so depend on how you plan to mount your water cooling system plan accordingly so yeah my outlet is going to be nearest to the this way so I'm going to put it this way Yeah, uh, that's nice. Try to remove. So you have a really almost smooth and clean surface. It's a bit dirty here, if you tell me. It seems a little bit scratched the surface. Mm. 
not not perfect not perfect i might scrub it off a little bit but yeah clearly it's not perfect i've seen better water blocks in the past from this one it's quite shiny i don't know if you can see it on the camera there's some surfaces scratches it's not mirror like almost but not quite well anyway Oh, I'll put some little place here. And then the holes remove this here from here. So yeah, try to screw it in a clockwise fashion don't go all the way screw just as you see that you're starting to go on the same level screw it screw it screw it I know this by default has a stop mechanism by its own so you don't over screw it so here it's already almost all the way full it has a spring That prevents you going crazy, crazy on it. Always try and make the opposites, the opposites. Okay, seems that you don't. W I don't want to go crazy on it the way that's pretty much how it should fit because I'm a bit psycho I'm gonna screw it and see how the thermal paste has been applied if it's evenly and what was the res result of the pressure on the water block and the CPU there you go it's easy to even remove that's pretty sweet. Okay, come on. So, yeah, you could see it's pretty much spread over evenly. And even have the, the logo of Ryzen on it, that's weird. Okay, I'm gonna put it back up. Seems like it's way too thin. Here's a part that's barely been touched. I might just put a little, a little bit, a little bit more. Just a tiny little bit more. There. repeat the process if you're doing soft tubing you don't actually need to do this because if if you're, you haven't properly mounted it then you could always remove it easily but if you're going hard like hard tubing and depending on, on the design of your hard tubing you're gonna put you might want to be double check so you don't need to break your tubes and remelt your tubes and make it a whole lot harder for you
So yeah, actually there is a, a strict limit of how far you can go, so you can really go crazy on it. I like the mounting mechanism, it prevents you from going overboard or not enough. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this was a good mount. Keep posted. I'm gonna now put this whole thing back on and melt the tubes and go through the final step of mounting this baby. See ya!